Hello, welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. Welcome to part 2 of my State of Decay 2 Heartland DLC walkthrough. The next main quest that comes through is called a Mysterious Request. Just a note on main quests, they never disappear or expire, but some side quests and unmarked quests to recruit optional survivors do expire and disappear, so always make those quests a priority before you tackle the main quests. There is a Blood Plague Juggernaut in this mission with an optional task to take him out if you so wish and you have got enough firepower to deal with it. If not, you can complete the mission without killing it, which I did. This team really knows how to get things done. Hello there. I'd like to offer your team some rewards and some goodwill. That is, if you'll send someone over who can help me with something. I know everybody in this valley, but I've never heard that voice before. Be careful, okay? Hey there. Thanks for coming out to meet with me. See you around. Once you get a minute to talk to Captain Logan, a future recruit, he tasks you to seek out a Cleo drop. Get the note that's in the Cleo drop, and if you are avoiding the juggernaut, quickly loot as much as you can before going back to Captain Logan to hand him the note. Great. Here's the deal. There's a supply drop not far from here. It has something I need. If you bring back the encrypted note in that supply drop, you can keep whatever else you find. I'm just happy to help. You know, this ain't a bad group to spend my days with. I appreciate that. This will help a lot. Place, all right. Let's look around. Roger that. Let me know when you find the note. Sure thing.
appreciate your help on this. When you said we'd encounter resistance, I didn't think you meant a juggernaut. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm glad you're still with us. Do you have the encrypted note? You've done a great service today. I can't go into details at this time, but someday, all of Trumbull Valley will thank you for this. That's all for now. I'll be in touch later if it's required. Be safe out there. Sure, whatever. So, what was that guy's deal? No clue. Hopefully we'll have a chance to find out. It takes about five minutes before you get a call that your base is getting attacked. And I know I said in the last video you won't have to worry about the usual sieges that usually happens in the main game. But this is part of the main quest and it doesn't happen again as Ray Santos has kindly run to your base with a horde behind him. So when you get the call, head back to your base straight away and fend off the horde. Talk to Ray when the siege finishes to end the quest. If I see anyone give up, I'll shoot you myself. Cartoon dinosaurs. We have some repair work ahead of us, but that could have been a lot worse. Take comfort that you still have a home at all, my friend. You're lucky you didn't get any of us killed. yourself today. 
Thank you, my friend. We'll find somewhere nearby to live for the time being. Take care, my friend. This valley grows more deadly every day. Cure all of your survivors if they got the blood plague. Continue to drop off any supplies and do up any facilities. Don't forget to make a few molotovs if you can, or bombs, anything that will help you if you are faced with a large horde or special type of zombies. Now, about this time in the game, we can get an unmarked quest that doesn't show up until we drive near the location. If you look for the farmer's enclave at the bottom left of the map, drive to the top right of the farmer's enclave, which I marked on the map in the video, and you will activate a side quest called Mysterious Stranger, First Contact. Do this quest as the first part to recruit a survivor called Deanna. You will get a call for another side quest called Vic. Ignore that for now, but we will immediately do it after this quest. If this quest does not show up, try again after completing another quest. When you get to the location, help Diana kill the zombies, and unsure if it affects the recruitment of Diana, but I did the optional steps of talking and helping her search. Always better to do this just in case. Diana will appear in another unmarked quest later on in the game. I'll let you know when she's due to appear in this walkthrough. The main quest, Retaking Trumbull, will pop up as well. This you can ignore for now until we get more survivors and achievements. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> Got him. Thank you. I didn't expect that. What do you want? I don't agree. I get it. Look, I don't really talk much. To people, at least. No offense. Mm hmm. Well, it's something. I knew this place was worth searching. Seriously, too heavy. Yay! No zombies here. Oh, hey, we need this. Take it. It's all yours. Uh, now you'll owe me a favor. It's useful when people owe me favors. I've checked everything, top to bottom. Hey, remember me? I hear you 
folks have been poking around and might have a few questions. If you're ready for answers, how about we meet up? Yeah. I'd say it's about time we got some answers. I found some things that just might be useful. I've secured this location as an outpost. Now we are going to do the next side quest, and this will recruit another survivor to your community. This will be a choice of two survivors. Go to the marked point where Vic is, which is at my favourite base that I always used in the first State of Decay game. Vic will task you with looking for his husband Isaac on one of three places to search, and when you do, he wants you to tell Vic that he is dead. If you tell Vic the truth that Isaac is not dead, you can recruit Vic which is the option I went with in this playthrough. If you tell Vic that Isaac is dead, then you can go back and recruit Isaac, which I will do in the Wilkerson's playthrough. Each choice comes with its own achievement. Bring the survivor you picked back to the base and you will get him as a recruit. Vic is a doctor, so he will be able to produce healing meds and you can get medical advice option on the radio commands. It sounds like you lost somebody. Do you need help? You'd do that for me? For us? Thank you. I haven't seen my husband Isaac in weeks. Can you help find him? We lost our daughter and he took it really hard. I'm, uh, I'm afraid he might have hurt himself. I just want Isaac to know that I forgive him. I'll tell you a few places to look. He's been avoiding me, but maybe you'll be able to get close.
Hello, you in here? Time to go search someplace else. Okay, I've looked around here, but I don't see any signs of Isaac. Thank you for the update. Isaac just can't understand that I don't blame him for our daughter's death. We taught her together how to survive out here. It's not his fault she got sick. Hello, you in here? I better check the next place. I've searched this place, but no luck. I'll keep looking. I appreciate this. When our daughter got sick, Isaac did everything he could to save her. It's not his fault that we ran out of time. I know that. But sometimes I'm not sure he does. Please, I just want to be alone right now. What can I say to make you leave? Of course he's worried. He's always worried. I'm the one who got our daughter killed, and all he wants to do is talk about it. I can't live with his suffering anymore. Please, just tell him I'm dead. It'll be a mercy to both of us. Have you had any luck finding Isaac? Yeah, of course he did. Because he knows what's best for everybody. He's so goddamn stubborn. Uh, any chance you're looking for a new recruit? I, I refuse to sit around and wait for that asshole to change his mind. What do you think? I know some emergency medicine, and I've chopped a lot of heads. Yeah, I'm sure. That stubborn old jerk might not want me around right now, but I'm staying close. You never know. Ooh, check this out. I'm gonna get on the radio for a sec. Isaac, I know you're alive, and that you tried to get these nice folks to lie to me. Sometimes you don't make a lot of sense to me, but I always know you care. I love you, and uh, I forgive you. For real, I ask you to do one kind thing. Nick, why do you not understand that hearing your voice just brings back all the guilt? I just, I just can't anymore. Don't ever try to find me again. Any of you. Damn. I had no idea you'd have to be. You just gotta stay strong. So 
up? Good to have you with us. I appreciate you taking a chance on me. Don't worry. I'll pull my weight. There's a new spot that should have plenty of supplies. This stuff looked useful, so I brought it home. department trained me as a paramedic. If we had a good pharmacy, I could keep us all in good shape. I would recommend to build more beds as you are getting more survivors to your community. I'm going to do the side quest Ray Santos Auto Shop Overrun. Doing this quest gives you the radio command to get a decent vehicle and there is a possibility it affects Reba's second quest. So I would recommend doing it just in case. And you have to destroy a play cart to complete the mission so bring any supplies that you need. I knew you'd come through. Thanks, my friend. Okay, I'm right on top of things. God bless you, my friend. Good luck. Sure, no problem.
I give you progress. At this point, you should be able to activate Diana's second unmarked quest. If you go to this location on the map, it's on the right side of the town, that's on the left of the map. Also, I had enough to build the first of the network weapons, the Danforth Bat. Once you get your 3D printed machine facility, we will do the rest of the weapons. Once you are close to your destination, the Mysterious Stranger's second contact quest will activate and you will once again find Diana surrounded by zombies. Once you have chatted with Diana, the quest will end, and when you proceed further into the game, or when I turned off the game and went back on it at a later time, you will be notified that Diana is at your base and you can recruit her to your community. But make sure all of this happens before you do the second quest in the retaken Trumbull, Bombs Away, as it's been reported that she rarely turns up after that quest has been completed. Oh shit, someone needs a hand. Ugh, gross. Hang on! This again? Oh shit, a fail! getting out of this. You're weirding me out. What do you want from me? Well, thank you for that. You risked your life because you want to be friends or something? Hell yeah! It'd be nice to live in a world where I could believe that. 
Now, we are going to the top right of the map, where the Wilkinsons were in the first State of Decay game, to get another unmarked quest involving a survivor named Reba. You will do two quests before you can recruit her to your party. Another useful tip to do is make sure you change survivors often, as when you get any of your members to hero status, it unlocks perks that will help you. When you approach the area, the quest Reba hitting the bottles will show up, and Reba tasks you with finding a filling machine from a nearby barn. Once you get it and hand it over, the quest will end. I'm surprised the Wilkinsons didn't attack you on sight after mucking up their deal in the previous quest. Those Wilkerson numbnuts borrowed my filling machine. You mind picking it up for me? It's perfect, hun. Just grab it from the barn. No reason to bother anyone about it. Sounds good. Got business with my family? Or are we gonna have a problem? Truce. Just for now, okay? <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, there it is. That is a lot to carry.
So, did you get my filling machine? And you didn't have any trouble? It's good to hear. Thanks a bunch. Oh, yeah, of course. As I waited for the next main quest, I continued searching and looting for supplies. Take note, there are 18 locations in the map that can net you an Echo Lab Gun, like the Army Military Tent and Army Checkpoint that's close to your base. I managed to get the Echo S2 rifle from the Army Military Tent. This is totally random, and you are at the mercy of RNG, and could get multiple of the same Echo Lab Guns, and if you are really unlucky, like I was, I looted every location and only got 5 out of the 6 guns needed for the achievement. These are the Echo versions of the Revolver, Rifle, SMG, Pistol and Assault. You don't have to use them, just have them in your inventory and to be on the safe side, keep them in your locker. Good luck and if you don't get the 6, you will have to start a new playthrough, which you need to do anyway if you're going for all the achievements. I will point out all the locations in this playthrough to help you. The locations are usually buildings that are fortified and the army or the Red Talon has used it. Basically locations that's had a lot of resistance, hiding out and have left a lot of military surprise. Also, I made the military checkpoint an outpost. Don't forget to make use of outposts in the game. I usually have them spread around the map for emergency situations and for resources that you use the most likely will be ammo and medicine outposts. At this point, after doing some quests or going back in the game like I did, Diana turns up at your base and you can recruit her. I got someone back at base wants to talk. Can you come deal with it? Yeah, it's me. The lady in the lizard hoodie? I, uh... I figured maybe I'd come visit your territory for once. I hope it's okay I came here. I don't normally do this. Actually, I think I'd like that. You know, until your sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's home. My name is Diana, by the way. Now that you've recruited Diana, you want to build the fabricator and constantly make screw components needed to make the network weapons. Not long after recruiting Diana, you can get a call from Reba to help her out again, which, like all side quests, make it your priority. Reba wants you to get her water tank back from Ray Santos. Head to Ray's place and search the shed for the water tank, then bring it back to Reba. There is a possibility that you would have needed to do the side quest to take back Ray Santos's workshop and destroy the Plague Heart. You aren't looking for me, are you? Tom, you can just grab it from their shed. No need to bother anybody. Works for me. Hello. You can come in if you're friendly. Damn it. That's locked. Looks like this place is Zed free now. Are you looking for something? Ray wants me to say no. But honestly, 
She's alone, she's miserable. I think she wants everyone to hate her. Go ahead and take the barrel. Maybe she'll stop telling everyone we cheated her. I hear you. That's not much. Just what I needed. That's pretty heavy. Let's see that old water barrel. Where is she? that old water barrel. Where is she? Huh. Well, I'm glad at least one of that troop of liars has a conscience. Of course, that and 50 cents will get you the same amount of coffee. None. Bye-bye now. Now it's time to continue with the main quest, which is to meet up with Captain Logan. He shows you a plague wall and tasks you with extracting a plague bloater's gland. He will lead you to one that's lying on its back. You have to sneak up and hold the Y button to extract the gland. Make sure the surrounding area is free of zombies. If you get interrupted while extracting the gland, it will explode. Speaking of blood plague bloaters, I really haven't come across them yet. I heard a few explode in the background. But there is an achievement for killing 25 of them, and the difference between the Blood Plague and normal version is you get infected with Blood Plague instead of the green gas, and it attracts zombies to your position as well. Thanks for coming out. I need to show you something. Company, I don't know if you've noticed, but the plague in this area is especially nasty. Yeah, no shit. The things I'm gonna show you, let's just say they aren't exactly common outside the valley. enough. See that disgusting mass up there? It's a plague wall. Don't get too close unless you're ready for a serious fight. It looks kind of like a plague heart. Uh-huh. The doc calls it the next step in blood plague evolution. Personally, I think of these walls as the reason my entire squad is dead. We shot it, burned it, blew it up. Nothing worked. Until I stumbled onto a neat little trick. Now, you've probably seen plague bloaters around the valley already. The doc figured out that these bastards held the secret to taking down the plague walls. Who's this doc you keep talking about? And what do plague bloaters have to do with anything? If 
you approach slowly, you can harvest the bloater's poison gland before it explodes. Go fetch me one from that guy over there, and I'll show you what's next. Be careful. If you fumble this, I have to track down another of these damn things. Looks like whoever was here last left a bunch of stuff. Faster, old man. I found a couple of things while I was on the gas. Did you manage to harvest a poison gland? The doc has a process to turn the chemicals inside this thing into a weapon. I just thought of something else I want to show you. Let's now you have to go to the bridge area of the map, and then go to where Captain Logan and his doctor friend have taken up residence. That's not much. Seems like the army didn't quite bargain for this much trouble. Uh-huh. We, uh, didn't anticipate this level of difficulty. <laughs> It's nice to have some company. The dogs had me on bloater patrol for the last couple of days. So it's just the two of you? Uh-huh. Didn't start that way, but we, uh, bit off way more than we could chew. If that barrel tackles me. I'm a goner. Hm. I can actually use this. Down. We're close. like the bridge is out. Did you army guys blow it up? Somebody did, but it wasn't us. Both bridges were fine when we rolled in a month ago. A few days later, we woke up to the sound of two big explosions. Then our radios went down, and we lost contact with the outside world. Things went bad in a hurry after that. Not what I was hoping to hear. You done looking around? So when do I get to meet this mysterious doctor? How about right now? There is no way any civilian in this valley had the munitions and the skill to take down both bridges. But somebody into a lot of trouble to trap a bunch of locals and a military expedition in this damn valley. Hey, Doc. I'm back. And I brought a new friend. 
Good. Good. Come on up. These days, Dr. Hoffman is technically military. During the outbreak, she was rescued by a patrol sweeping the area for high-value civilian assets. We're lucky they found her. The last few days has given us a lot of new weapons in the war against the zombies. Hello there. I suppose all of this must come as a surprise to you. Uh, Two years ago, I was working in a private lab funded by some tech billionaire I never even met. I was keeping my head down, trying to push out the edges of medical parasitology. The next thing you know, the world ends, and the army whisks me off to a bunker. And the rest is history. Oh, before I forget, take this. This information will let you upgrade your medical facility to something less... medieval. Among other benefits, you will be able to craft a special kind of plague cure that provides brief immunity to further infection. Oh, that's nice, yeah. I know this is a lot to take in. The truth is, we need your help. The doc and I can't do everything needed to finish the job. You've proven yourself more than competent. I'd like to count on you to help us see this to the end. After the quest is completed, you get a blueprint to upgrade your medical facility, which provides more benefits, including a more powerful version of the plague cure that cures you and makes you temporarily immune for a short while. It costs double of that of normal plague cure, but very handy when you have to take down the plague walls. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. There are tips, achievement guides and full walkthroughs posted every week. Thanks for watching, see you in part 3.